Hey everyone and welcome back to Village Life. In this one we are starting off in Riverside for obvious reasons. As you can see down in the corner, Bree has moved to Riverside, or I have moved her to Riverside. And I thought that was being recorded, I'm still recording on my laptop, still waiting for Jinx Jr. to arrive. And unfortunately that didn't actually record that sequence and as you also can see we have a little child here. Rowan, right? Yeah, Rowan. And um, the reason for that is all these things, minor things, has happened um, was because Bree wanted to have a child and when you have a child you can't actually move them to another village. So I had to quickly have her have a child so I could move her because one, she's a fisher. Ready. If we go into her extra skills, if we just go in here and show off her extra skills, she actually had fishing skills. So I really wanted her here. Now the problem with that lane is now that we are having 31 villagers of 32. That means if anyone actually comes into our village now, someone will move out. Unless, of course, within four days someone passes away. Or going on a never-ending journey, let's just say like that instead. Because it sounds nicer. Um, but fortunately, uh, I also started building another hut for Bree and her family, and we would just finish that one off and move Bree and her family in there with Kevin. And I've actually decided to divide the clans a little, if we could say it that way. Because we have the Morgan clan in Woodland, and I'm trying to get the Eli clan, or Austin clan. I like I call them Morgan and Austin, <laughs> and Eli clan, but I'm just gotten so used to say Morgan, so... Or yelling Austin, so eh, never mind. I've tried to divide them such as the Eli clan is moving to the riverside, slowly and steadily. Whereas with the Morgan clan, we are in a bit of trouble with those because they don't actually have any heirs. I, and I realized that Jess now, two days later, wants a child and she has not a Morgan clan member. However, the only one who can still produce children in the Morgan clan is actually... Ooh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, that was not what I intended to do, but if that's what's gonna happen, I will let Chance decide if we are going to show the moving out or the forever journey instead. So let's see here. We are going to have the journey or moving out or going on an ever ending adventure. The difference is on the never ending journey they kind of pass away whereas in the never ending exploring they just go on a never ending adventure kind of thing so now we are two people might less pretty sure we are going to be that now so um jess is a event character that moved into a village if people remember that and i don't consider her two of the main clans. I'm kind of going a little Game of Thrones here. This the clan! No. <laughs> um, but we will just take a free baby charm for her. Whereas when we go in later and if hopefully... Uh, what was the name again? Leah, right? I think it was Leah. When she's gonna have a child we're going to make it a master something. Because I really want that clan to still progress and be through the whole game, kind of like a little like if a really large family history tree. As was well also one of the things I love about playing Sims 3 is like when you go like eight generations down, you just go, "Oh my goodness, <laughs> I have been playing this game for too long." <laughs> but we're going to have a little girl. That's nice. And as you can see here is that. Okay, Bur your population has blooming so much that Morgan has decided to leave the village to travel. So now they're going on a never-ending travel and it actually has a minor quest as you can see. <sighs> it doesn't even register Austin, okay? <laughs> That's funny. I've traveled for two, Morgan and her secret lover. <laughs> No, 
you can clearly see it's Austin, but as you can see here, the population grew so much that you cannot have more villages. Okay, with that in mind, we do get a free farewell spin, and they do not pass away. However, if we went on the, well, if they passed away in your village, they would have given you, I think it's five gems and some uh, bonfire fuel. So your bonfires will basically be living on for a little more. However, in this case, they're gonna venture on. So, I didn't actually plan on actually <laughs> clicking on the baby. I actually think I didn't do it, but it just reacted. I don't know. Uh, when you record and you don't know what you're doing. Okay, let's see. We live this village, but you don't need to need us anymore. Being retirees and all the things. And we can see that our production of children, or at least Eli's production of children, has been so massive that we are no longer needed. Our population, population is at a limit, so we want to explore the world. As you can see here, we have... Wait, what? <laughs> That's definitely not Morgan. <laughs> Okay, I love these small little... I don't think they're bugs, it's just randomizers that kind of slightly goes wrong. It's okay. So we have decided to follow our dreams and leave the village, and Austin will no longer have the troubles of being yelled at for building stuff that will break. And <laughs> to seek more adventures, of course. And what is this? Um, I'm just looking at the structure in the back and trying to figure out where it could be situated, because... My first fortress was like in Kamaya exploration in the jungle kind of thing. But it could also be something else. Could also be Aztec, of course. Ooh. I have to study a little on that because that's exciting. We're going to miss you both so much. You mean all of you? Oh, oh, oh. They switched the wrong place. Okay, I get it now. Okay, I'm, I'm with you. So, <laughs> Morgan is leaving with this young stud. <laughs> Austin is staying in the village. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny. Okay. But it's so nice that you guys are going to live out your dream. And a kid! Yay! Is that Hamish? I actually can't see from here. Let's get Morgan and retire villagers to bracket. <laughs> I think if a snatch shell for avenging will help. So basically, we're going to make them a um, package. Sometimes you also can give them like a picnic where they want lessons and such. But let's just collect these items, which I didn't expect we actually were going to do today. <laughs> I did not expect we were going to do stuff today. <laughs> And let's see here. So basically, we we'll give them a adventure pouch where they can have stuff in. So, <laughs> um, another thing is that you can see George here with the G also wants to blue have blueberries, and they are still not unlocked. So let's just unlock them at start unlocking those because we are at a point where we can start unlocking them. And let's see here, what do we have? Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so the next thing that will be unlocked is the carrots, and then shortly after the blueberries. Great! That's good to know. Um, let's just collect all the items here. We can't really collect all the items here, but the one thing we can do is we go in here and we can see the main platform and the uh, delicate decorations and the curtain cloth. We actually have all the items that we need for the different things. I'm just going to show them up quickly again because I can't remember if I showed them last time. And we also have enough birch to build the items, so we will be collecting those just quickly here and actually start building them. Because now I'm just going to take a little, uh, <laughs> maybe a little, um, I guess. Shortcut, just slightly. Um, where's Morgan? Morgan! Where are you, sweetie? Morgan! Because I want to see if... Oh! Morgan is not here. 
Wait, wait. <laughs> Have you really left Austin behind? <laughs> oh my goodness, no. Okay. Then we have Astrid do the other one, just to be frank, and quickly go into because I'm pretty sure it's Leah that's the child. Yeah, it is Leah. Leah, if you can see here, um, Astrid is getting too old to have a child, and the rest of them have basically moved out. <laughs> so we have had a little problem with that, but I'm pretty sure when Jess gives birth. Leia would be the next in line to have a child, and she's not 40 yet. Where it's kind of wishy-washy if they can actually have children. I haven't seen one above 40 at least having a child in the village life. Maybe you have experienced that. Please comment that if you have, because I love knowledge. Especially about the games I really enjoy playing. But the tin should be... Oh, I already collected the tin. Then we need more vines. Okay. And basically, another thing that we can do is actually, I think we have enough for the padding pool now. Exactly, so we will have Chris start building that because people want the padding pool done. It's basically going through all your villagers' wishes and then hopefully it all goes well, right? As well. <clears throat> What the hell was that? Oh. Ew. 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 Okay, I just <laughs> experienced a um, stop in recording from my notebook, and basically I'm not gonna record it. <laughs> Hello, burst. That is slime. Ew. Is my hay fever that bad today? I didn't even notice. Okay. Okay, I just had a slight scare there. My laptop started not working with me, so I just had to cut the, the episode a little. <clears throat> Okay, with minor inconvenience from my little notebook, deciding to stop the recording, I have now I'm now back and we are ready to collect the items that we need. Um, and we are ready to create the pouch. And I hopefully it's not that bad. Two hours, that's not bad. We'll have Logan do that. And actually uh, we can't prevent them from moving out now. I should have probably have done this before, but collecting all the items. Or all the happiness points from the village. Could actually have saved it, I think. Um, but yeah, that's unfortunate in a way. But we are now level 16 and we can now make bongo drums. Yay! I actually love the sound of bongos. It's actually kind of really relaxing. As well, we, we can farm a cucumber as soon as it's unlocked. And as well, we have more uh, fish to catch, which is also a thing we'll be touching on in a minute or two or five, depending on editing. <laughs> but we can also now fish brim, which I'm not really a fish fan, so I don't know how they actually taste. I'm more of a vegetable and farming meat type of person, and hunting meat. But let's see how lucky we are in our spinny wheel here, and see... Ooh, that was actually... Ooh, 18. That's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> so, basically... I like the cutscene. kind of like shows you where it goes to. Like, oh, it's for you. <laughs> anyway, we are... We should actually hurry the power shop because then they will hurry one of the items up and then we can hurry the last item up. That would be smart, wouldn't it? Um, but first off, before we do that, because it's situated nicely there, um, I also decided to uh, move a little stuff around here, uh, moving the stage more to the in the woods. And Coddles, as his name is, the little lovely dog, he's become the farmhound because he's a shaver. 
at least that's what we call them in Danish. And there are slash protecting dogs, slash hunting hounds, slash farming hounds, depending on where you live in Denmark. Um, let's see. No, thank you. I have plenty of gems to go around. And we'll just collect that. But we are actually done with the fishing hut, so that is great. Let's go into that and go in. Oh, excellent! Oh, I found the voice again! I forgot that it's the best British accent I can do with my monotone voice. <laughs> I doubt anything will buy through that now. <laughs> you have done a fantastic job of fortifying it. Uh, uh, of course, this can part of my pardon my British, but uh, uh, restoring my old fishing hut, of course. Um, don't worry, there's no nasty fishing there. <laughs> no sharks at all. <laughs> I love the fact that he's kind of like, <laughs> pardon me. <laughs> I didn't mean that at all. <laughs> but the, the part is with Brian is that he is actually the um, shop owner of the riverside where we have Maya in the woodland. So he's the one you return to here, but they kind of sell the same stuff. So, no difference there. It's just depending on how much you will flare your riverside area compared to um, woodland or how you go around. Um, but let's go in here because we should actually be able to. Oh. <coughs> Never record on a laptop. Never. No. <laughs> Never record on a notebook. Last episode went great, now it's kind of like, don't want to. Anyway, let's go back in here and we can actually start fishing for pond snails. However, we also need to make the materials needed to fish them. We need an ash box, so we basically need to collect a lot of ash and moss. Okay, that's an item that we have not collected yet as far as I remember. And as well we need a basic cage where we also need a lot of mush. Or two times mush. So we basically are able very soon to complete those items. Great! Um, oh yeah! Oh yeah! We also have stars! <laughs> I was like, star? Oh yeah! Uh, we have two villagers moved to Riverside. That was because of moved Bree and all those people to Riverside. And we can now collect that as well, and we get a lot of gems for doing basically nothing. That's incredible. As well as we have, actually, Rowan, he is a 2-3 star villager. So we, of course, have him in our, our collection book here as a fairy tale. Oh, so who is he? I don't actually know who's he. Rowan? Is he a, like a younger version of Geppetto? Like, I have a plan to become a father in about 30 years when I'm li <laughs> At least if we take the Disney one. Uh, I've been watching so many Disney movies because it's summer and I usually have like a marathon of Disney movies. Um, I just watched The Incredibles and Zootopia again. I really love those two. It's my, probably my... They're basically it's Disney Pixar, but my I think my, fa my favorite Pixar character is Edna Mode. Her, her way of dealing with this stuff is so amazing. And I can kind of relate because I'm not really tall either, so being intimidating is the best way of going around. No. <laughs> anyway, let, let's look at Rogan here. Because I'm actually curious what he is. He is a free star baby, okay. And he is a, a forager. Great. And a gatherer because of his parents, so we will probably make him a gatherer as soon as we get there. Um, as soon as he uh, becomes a teenager, which would be a couple of weeks, or a week and a half, somewhat. Um, let's see here, with all that done. Oh, we only collect one at a time. Okay, so we can actually start um, building the ash box. We have Eli to that. The Eli clan! Okay, it is going to be the Eli and Morgan because then the Morgan is the matriarch of the woodland area. And Eli is the patriarch of the... Uh, <laughs> the 
of the riverside. I, I, I probably think the reason why I always say Morgan Clan. Ooh. Another achievement just appeared. But I think the reason why I constantly say Morgan is because she of Austin and Morgan with all the conversations they have, especially in the tutorial and such. It seems she's the dominating one of those two, so uh, and Eli was the character that we got when we moved to Riverside, so he is the patriarch of his clan. Craft four items um, simultaneously. Oh, that's cool. I I forgot that one was actually there. Okay, more gems for us. Yay! But while that's being done, it went done over there. Because we can't craft more than one item in Riverside at the moment due to the fact we don't have a big workspace there. So, for now, we will just go in and hurry up the, the adventure pouch. What, what were it called? Okay, I'm not allowed. Okay, we're just gonna hurry up this one. Trail sa sa saddle. Okay. They're not gonna ride. Anyway, we will just... Let's see if my theory holds stick on this department, other than Austin wasn't the one moving out, apparently. But let's see how this fares for us. Is it just me, or did the bubble just disappear? <laughs> or did the vampire just disappear? Oh, no. They're, they're tracing... Oh, no. Oh, now she wanted Austin with him. She just thought she could take a young hunk with her on her adventures. No, she's stuck with Austin for the rest of her life. <laughs> Never mind. Austin and Morgan have received their leaving gift and are ready to say goodbye to the village. Ooh. Do we get a little animation as well? <gasps> We're getting animation as well. Oh, that's so nice. I forgot there was this animation. I actually might prefer this other than all over the... Oh, we are so sorry. Why is there an arm down here? Why is there an arm on the ground? <laughs> oh my god. This game is breaking me. Look, look down at Eli's feet. Down at Eli's feet there is a, a, an arm just laying there. <laughs> Oh my god, are you kidding me? Ah, ah, this game. I have so much love for this game, are you kidding me guys? But anyway, I actually kind of like this departure scene a lot better than them growing old and passing away and then getting a reward that's basically uh, five gems and I think it's two or three or four at least some bonfire oil, which I never use. I think I would do this instead. When they reach a certain age, I would do the departure part. If I am overpopulated. Yes. So basically, we get a free spin out of it. For saying goodbye to our matriarch and her... Well, she chose Austin in the end, so he was not the lover. And we get seven gems for it, but there is actually a great way of actually... Um, this is really a great way of, um, I don't know. Oh. I'm unsure now because it's kind of like, I love there is this little animation, they're just waving goodbye. And it's not like a funeral or however people decide to bury their departed family members. Oh, this is getting so dumb. I'm I'm going away from that. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to be in that area of sadness. Um, mostly because I have not been on... Uh, oh, it actually, my, my little theory actually worked out. One of them actually are done. So, before we get too sad around everything, and too sad about their departure, let's just finish the last part of the stage so we can actually start building it and have a farewell party. Even though they ha have gone away, but or left, then we will have a celebration for them. Ooh, happiness points. <laughs> More happiness points we like. Okay, so we will continue on building the stage, which is 12 hours. It will not take that long at all. 
And with that, man, we have our total groovy stage ready. You know, so we can commend and celebrate people that follow their dreams of exploring ancient history, man. That's so cool. So let's just click on it, man, and continue on with the summer showdown. And oh my goodness, that hurts my throat actually to do. <laughs> oh, I have to do more. <laughs> This looks great! Who needs to play at a secret GLAD festival anyway? GLAD festival? Haven't I heard about that? I don't think that's an actual thing. Anyway, we have Moose Dog. <laughs> I will go... What? I will go get my loot. So she's gonna play on the stage, or uh, and uh, is he gonna sing? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh no! Uh, who are they supposed to be? <laughs> the stage has been invaded. <gasps> oh no! Oh, not again! Yeah, <laughs> it happened again. So now we have to guess our way to this story, which is probably just that two rascals have gone to the stage and going, Oh, we gotta own this! And start some pop songs. Or whatever. <laughs> but we have to craft an assembly of instruments that can combat the noise. So they can't even play, they're just gone, like hitting around with the, that temp. <laughs> and his loot, I'm guessing. So I, I'm not quite sure. They don't look very happy though. So we have to combat the noise of Lenny. Lemmy! Lemmy! I was going, Lenny! Motorhead! No, it's not. And Niall. Interesting. So, what are we going to need? Oh! It's on! It's a showdown! What are they actually doing because they look like scared and they're just laughing. Are they like the the, the bullies of the story? Oh, it's so annoying when you don't when they have the cutscenes and there are actually story parts and then you don't get them. That is not fair. <laughs> At all. That's not fair. Anyway, we have to start and collect all the items that we need. Let's see here. Uh, we need some castanetas, some fiddle, and a drum. Okay, so we need to craft what? Castanetas out of coconut shells. I guess that would work. And a fiddle. Um, and we have all those items that we need there, so we actually only need to unlock the coconuts. I'm a little thrown off my game because I expected to see the cutscenes and I'm a little OCD, so we, well, it threw me off a little. But we're just gonna quicken that up instantly. So we can start collecting those items. And we need to plant chia sheets and coconuts as well as the god. Okay, so we have three planting items which matches perfectly <laughs> with our farm, which is good. Because Elsie would not be so uh, handy. And for some reason I couldn't click on anything. Uh, I think my game might crash again very soon because it seems to be unresponsive to my clicks at times. I don't know why it does that. It's really it, maybe it's not actually the laptop. Maybe it's my tablet. I need to clean out or something. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure at the moment, guys. Um, but we also need to. No, there was the planting items, but we also needed to gather some fire opals. And ooh, and stuff starts breaking again. Great. That was not what we meant to do, guys. We have plenty to do that. And let's see here. And then we need some pampas grass. Again. And we have Valia do that. Yes. And then we will have Astrid gather some water. To please the audience. Or please the masses, not all the audience, but the masses. I'm so stuck up with the stage right now that it has to please the man. Oh, it only can turn that way. I was kind of like trying to. I wanted to kind of turn it, but now it doesn't really fit there. Can, can we like. No. 
Okay, it's just gonna be like that then. I wanted to turn it the other way so it's facing the trees. That would have been awesome. Anyway, let's go back to Riverside and... Let's see here. Uh, we should be done gathering some ash because I realized that I was missing ash to continue on building the basic cage. I have collected the ash box while I was waiting. And then we need to make a cage. I don't know how you make a... Like, how that would work for a snail, I would... You, don't you just use a net or something? That would have been much easier to just fish your snails. Basically, you just take them out of the water if you're, like, in knee-high water. You could just pick them out of the water, I guess. But what kind of snails are they again? Pond snails. Yeah, well, you can just pick them up. <laughs> You don't need an, a cage for that. That's more for lobsters and crabs and even crabs you can fish with a, with, you know, you, um, you can fish with a line where you have some bait on it. Yeah, me starting to ramble again because I'm confused. <laughs> I easily become thrown off uh, my game or whatever. When things don't exactly happen as I plan them to do, which sometimes can be very challenging when you record and suddenly there's a lawnmower outside and your laptop starts crashing and <laughs> all the things. So basically, what we have now is that we are going to collect some snails and. What do we have here? Oh, it's a request. Never mind. I just thought it was something else. And now we actually have room for three or two more villages. Hmm. Now this is something I usually don't do, but I think I would do it in this case just to make sure we have room for everyone. And as you can see here, we have different uh, items that we can get at level 17, but I actually want to go to a level 18, so we have extra... Lawnmower! Stop it! <laughs> I could hear the lawnmower in the distance, and I know he's coming close, this that's really good. <laughs> but we can then start uh, farming rice, and there's some fun items here as well. But I actually think I will use some um, gems to actually get to level 17 as well as level 18, so we have more space for people, because the events are going to stack up at point, because we have so there is so many events compared to when they started out. So when you play the tablet one, they come after each other constantly and you have to make space for them else people will go on that trouble as we just saw earlier in this episode. So basically that's what we're going to do. We're just going to make a little more space. Also so we have the chance that Leah can have a child without actually being bothered uh, by the max amount of people. So we got a little gym and we get a little cash back quotation mark cashback from actually leveling up. Um, that necessarily makes a difference in essence. And we would just level up again. Ooh. Oh, they stack up the gems for me. Yeah, well, with the amount of happiness points you need, then it kind of makes sense. Um, even more fishing items! Yay! Or even more fish we can find. Catch. I don't really like the taste of fish, so... Um, or I'm not used to it, rather. I think I would like it if it's um, prepared in a way that I know, or whatever, but... Um, the fish taste, I'm not really... Ooh, but Mike, sorry. I'm not really used to. As of, At least as of yet. I, I, I come from a farming area, so guess what we left off. Now, I, li I live near Harper, but it's not really it was the main... The main uh, fishing area at all, so I came from an industrial, you didn't really fish there at all. So, anyway, let's see here. Trying to over talk the lawnmower that's just beneath my window now. Goodness gracious, that's why I should actually record at night, but unfortunately, I wake my neighbors underneath me, so I can't actually do that anymore. Me, so. With that in interest, I actually think, hmm, I actually think I'll be ending off here because there's not much more we can do other than just collect this knife. So until next time, guys, have a fabulous day and take good care of yourself. <laughs>